All right, this is CGT345, uh, Game Design 1. Uh, this is Zachary Elmore, and what I'm going to be showing you is my contribution to me and my team's uh, game that we made. So the first thing I want to show off is the game layout. I came up with the game layout, and uh, this is actually the second draft. And uh, I turned I turned all the uh, platforms I used uh, invisible to show off uh, my teammates' uh, artwork. So if I turn everything visible again, these are all the platforms I used to construct the uh, like block out the main uh, the main feel of the game, the main uh, platforms, the floor, and everything, barriers and that. So let me turn this invisible again, because I'd rather see the artwork rather than the 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 uh, starter clunky stuff. Um, second thing I want to show you are the moving platforms that are right here and here. What they do is they both move move towards each other and then move back to where they started. Uh, I got the uh, idea of the code that I used from one of my former teammates, uh, uh, Chris uh, Secreto, Secreto. Uh, I worked with him on my prototype 2 and I found his way of coding movement a lot better than the whole delay timer and I tried my best to find any other way of coding movement better like more AI movement better and I find I find his uh, way of coding it a lot a lot better and more more fluid more workable than the delay timer because the delay timer I found to only work well depending on how fast your uh, com your your unit you're using can process things like I had issues with my current unit where every time I had it on a l delay sometimes it would go farther than what I wanted it to and other times it would just be shorted out a bit so there are some bugs I really did not want to deal with so this is the code that I used I got the idea from him and uh, Uh, second thing I want to show off is the uh, the whole ability, to, the, the whole power up that we uh, came up with, the fire power up. Uh, so the 2D side scroller didn't have a uh, projectile function. So what I had to do was uh, try and reconstruct the whole projectile uh function from one of the other uh, default uh, uh, what's, what's the word uh, default categories by Unreal Engine so I went to the uh, twin stick shooter and basically copied the entire code of how the projectile functions from that into this so this is the power up when uh, the player collides with it they activate the, they pick up the power up and they activate it, uh, make making uh, the uh, fireball, the uh, fireball, uh, fireball component uh, true, because at the beginning it's it's uh, it's false. So, and these are, yeah, this is one of them. So is this one and. Yeah, uh, these two are some of the ones that, like the, the code that I uh, copy and pasted from the twin stick shooter over into here and then modified it to work for our game. Uh, and here are some uh, functions that we, if we had enough time, we would get to. Uh, functions for blocking left and right, uh, possible duck, ducking function, which I don't think we would have used. Uh, and right here, so what would happen is that if player were to collide with the power up, power up is activated, fireball becomes true, and then they'll be able to shoot fireballs by hitting Q or E. If they hit E, they would they would cause the uh, character to turn to the right, and then shoot fireballs to the right. Uh, vice versa for Q to shoot fireballs to the left. And this is a timer function that I came up with and to uh, to stop the power up 
at a certain point of time after uh, counting up to 1,200 1, units, which would give the player about 15 to 20 seconds with the power up to play with and uh, just immediately shoot out the enemies. So, uh, let's see here. Anything else? see here let's go to the fireball itself this is the uh, projectile itself again which I the, the code that I copy and pasted from twin stick shooter into here so we would have like a good projectile function going on um, so I edited a little bit from one of my other teammates is uh, uh, contributions the the crocodile enemy so I tried my best to work with the code that she had for the crocodile movement to have the crocodile turn after it got to its end point and then turn the other way so it can walk in that direction. Every time, what every method I tried, e, the crocodile would always turn in the middle of its movement and it would just completely make it look weird. So I asked her if I could... Uh, redo her uh, the movement or modify it and she gave me the okay so I went ahead and used the same movement I did for the platforms for this as well as well as put in a little addition right here a uh, function on each end every time the correct dial gets to its end point it would turn and then go to walk in that other direction uh, let's see here I also added in a function to destroy the crocodile if the player were to bounce or jump on top of the crocodile three times so uh, we have this counter hit giving it uh, HP so if the player were to jump on it three times it would knock down its health all the way down to zero and the character would would die uh, if we had time I would have added in a point system so that whenever the player were to kill an enemy the crocodiles would be about 100 points so every time the player would were to kill uh, the crocodile with I was thinking jump on it three times to kill it 200 points uh, kill it with fireballs it would be a hundred points so if we had time we would have uh, I would have implemented implemented that into our game uh, and then I also added in the widget the ending widget so once you get to the end of the game, which is right here, there's a collision box all the way down in there in the corner. So once the player reaches that point, it would say uh, level complete. Now if I could go to the widget, and okay, that's not it. Uh, yeah. If it opens up. And I think it might have Rose up. Yep, there we go. So basically, it's just a simple text box. So whenever the player uh, gets to the certain point at the end of the game, this would pop up, level complete, and then that would be it. So that is all my contributions to this game and for my team. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> just building the map and creating a bunch of code also using the idea of the code from one of my former teammates in another project that I had uh, so that's it uh, I'll, I guess I'll see you guys next time